I'm Tracy Lockwood Beckerman, a registered dietitian in New York City, and it is my job to help you figure out what to eat and why. Let's tackle apple cider vinegar. Is it everything it's chalked up to be? Let's find out today in this episode of You Vs. Food. We are taking it to the next level with apple cider vinegar today. Apple cider vinegar is made from sugar, yeast, and apples. The byproduct, acetic acid, is formed when apple juice gets fermented into hard apple cider. It's raw, unpasteurized, unfiltered, hashtag no filter, and unheated. Like all vinegars, apple cider vinegar is rich in antioxidants, specifically coming from the apples conserved during the fermentation process. And ACV is fermented, which means it's rich in probiotics, namely lactobacillus and oenococcus. And we know that probiotics can help support a healthy digestive system. You want the truth about apple cider vinegar? You can't handle the truth about apple cider vinegar. There are a lot of claims around ACV as being a holy grail in preventing everything. But there's not much research or science to support these radical claims. Does it help with cholesterol? In a prospective randomized clinical control trial, taking apple cider vinegar for two months had no impact on HDL. And there was no evidence that taking apple cider vinegar showed any improvement on triglycerides, LDL, or total cholesterol. So should you take it to improve your cholesterol? Probably not. But can it help rev up your metabolism and help you detox? Although it's been said that apple cider vinegar can rev up your metabolism, da, 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 da. the effects of apple cider vinegar on your metabolism have yet to be conclusively studied. As for detoxing, your body does a really good job of detoxing on its own. That's what our liver, intestines, and kidneys are for. So if you do want to detox, I would drink plenty of water, eat more vegetables, particularly kale, spinach, and broccoli, which all have been proven to help remove those toxins from your body. But does it help with weight loss? The most cited study was done on overweight Japanese subjects and investigated the role that apple cider vinegar played in reducing body fat mass. The results were pretty insignificant and we later found out that the research was supported and funded by the company that sells the vinegar. There's no rigorous science to back the claim that apple cider vinegar revved up the metabolism enough to support weight loss. But I'll say this, by swapping out sugary unhealthy dressings and swapping in apple cider vinegar, it may result in indirect weight loss. How about them apples? Not necessarily. One of the nice things about apple cider vinegar is that it's a natural, super low calorie way to add flavor to your food. One tablespoon has only three calories and can be added to dressings, sauces, or marinades. Plus, it's natural, and we all love natural food. Of course, there's its probiotic power. However, full disclosure, the amount of probiotics that you're getting in a couple of tablespoons a day isn't drastic enough to show any major health improvements. If you are taking apple cider vinegar and it's doing good things for your digestion, great, keep it up. But if you are looking for more probiotic rich foods to help improve your gut health, aim for Greek yogurt, kombucha, or kimchi. All so hot right now. If you are considering taking apple cider vinegar, I would max out at two tablespoons a day because apple cider vinegar is very acidic. I know what you're thinking. Can I take a shot of apple cider vinegar? And you can if you like the taste. But be kind to your esophagus, dilute it with water, and look out for your stomach. Please eat some food with it too. This is weird and this is better. <laughs> when shopping for apple cider vinegar, look for the raw, unpasteurized ACV with the mother. Mom, is that you? The mother is the cloudy, strand-like segments at the bottom that contain the probiotics. Mother, 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 not mother. Pasteurization actually destroys the mother, which removes the probiotics. So look for the raw stuff, or else your apple cider vinegar will not be mom goals. As a low-cal way to pack in flavor and a small source of probiotics, sure. As the magical cure-all for diabetes, cholesterol, and weight loss, not so much. Although I know we all wish for that one tablespoon a day holy grail that will improve our health, unfortunately, the science isn't quite there yet for apple cider vinegar. I'm Tracy Lockwood Beckerman, and we'll see you again on the next episode of You Vs. Food. You like what you see? Subscribe to Well & Good's YouTube channel.